welcome to Singapore. <laughs> and also welcome to the Sarawak Trade Office and tourism in uh, Singapore. As you know, this is one of the strategic moves by the Sarawak government uh, to explore the possibility of collaboration between Sarawak and also the world in terms of global trade. Uh, the decision to set up this office in Singapore, as you know, we have to look into the background, our economic background and the history between uh, Sarawak and Singapore. Uh, Singapore. Sarawak has a population of, uh, as you know, 2.8 uh, million with an area of 124,000 square kilometers. If you want to compare the, the size and the population, we got a lot of room for us to leapfrog in our economic uh, development due to the fact that we have uh, resources available in Sarawak. And the next question is uh, how to optimize our strength in our resources that can create employment at the same time uh, strengthen our economic base. As I mentioned, historically, Singapore has been our trading partner. And uh, during the colonial period, uh, we have been exporting our product, particularly paper, uh, also uh, rubber, our main uh, product through Singapore, including sago, sago flour. And we know very well that uh, in Singapore, uh, the business community in Singapore also upgrade our product that has been exported to Singapore. So much so that uh, Singapore become the distribution center to the market. And uh, I think this uh, collaboration continues. A lot of uh, Sarawakian business community invested a lot of investment in Singapore, some of which are very successful. The iconic investment from Sarawak in Singapore is the bank, OUB. It started by a Sarawakian, and it is a global uh, banking financial institution in Singapore. That is by symbol the importance of uh, the economic link between Sarawak and uh, Singapore. And uh, in these modern times, where we leverage on technology, the government has decided for us to have a base in Singapore. And this is a base for the Sarawak government to promote uh, our product. At the same time, for the trading house in Singapore, to distribute our product through a joint collaboration between the Sarawak business community and the Singaporean uh, business community. On top of that, there could be some ways for us to invest in Sarawak on certain industries that we have uh, economic uh, comparative uh, advantage, particularly in terms of our uh, prerequisite such as power supply and also cost of production in uh, Sarawak. Meaning the expertise in Singapore will work together uh, with the business community in Sarawak and thereby uh, through Singapore and this collaboration uh, we can uh, link uh, with market overseas. Now, Sarawak economy uh, 2019 is uh, forecasted to uh, improve based on uh, the performance. We forecast between 5% to 6% growth GDP. This is view on the fact that uh, we are strengthening or improving our infrastructure, including uh, digital infrastructure, as well as uh, uh, road 
road infrastructure and the supply of uh, water as well as power. Number two, we are also uh, emphasizing on the importance of uh, agriculture, meaning modern agriculture, to the use of uh, technology, uh, including uh, uh, what we call IoT, Internet of Things, and that is why we upgrade our digital infrastructure. And also in terms of uh, fintech and financial technology, we have our Sarawak Pay, and we are collaborating with the Union Pay. I understand that Union Pay also has collaboration with Singapore, where that uh, mobile payment can be used. In other words, uh, you come to Singapore, meaning you can make use of our Sarawak Pay for payment through the arrangement we have with Union Pay because Union Pay of China they have the collaboration with Singapore and uh, while that is being done we are also uh, talking to MAS the Monetary Authority of Singapore uh, for us to have our operation in, in, in Singapore uh, through collaboration between Singapore Net and uh, Sarawak Pay uh, meaning any commercial transaction uh, can be done uh, if the volume is within the maximum limit allowable by the bank then they can buy and sell through that allowable limit and uh, for retail if you can buy uh, our product there which costs uh, the handbag costs about 100 uh, Singapore dollars then they can just pay through Sarawak Pay they can buy our handbag, uh, whatever it is, uh, the product that we have uh, exhibited downstairs. In 2008, uh, Sarawak recorded positive balance of trade. Huh? Uh, the export value from Sarawak was 97.7 billion ringgit, almost 100 billion ringgit. And it has surpassed the total imports of 49, 45.9 uh, billion ringgit meaning we have a total trade balance of 51.8 billion ringgit in 2018, meaning we are export-oriented economy. And because of that, uh, I think uh, we have to, uh, again, uh, improve uh, uh, our uh, uh, internal infrastructure. Singapore, is one of the Sarawak major <coughs> trading partners. Our total export to Singapore in 2018 was 1.2 billion ringgit. 2018, and then our import is 1.6 uh, billion ringgit, meaning we still uh, import things through Singapore because they have been our trading partner. And that is why from that shortfall, I think it's, it is a strategic move for us to come to Singapore so that we can export uh, a lot of our product through Singapore and I hope this figure will improve uh, as a platform uh, for us to move forward. Uh, the items uh, that are traded between Sarawak and Singapore are machinery and transport equipment mineral fuels, lubricants, and food items. And these food items, I think there are a lot of space for us to improve uh, through Singapore. Uh, there are, at the moment, we have export of our agriculture uh, to Singapore. Yeah, pepper, uh, livestock. Livestock. Livestock and pepper. pepper. And uh, perhaps uh, our subsidiary or uh, downstream activities including durian paste yeah, yeah. and just now we notice a lot of our uh, what call agriculture yeah. produce yeah. that can be marketed to the trading house in Singapore and also to be distributed through the network uh, connection with Singapore so I think the, the agriculture has a lot of potential and uh, with the modern practice because quality is important and I have discussed with the Singapore government, particularly uh, the Right Honourable the Prime Minister of Singapore, 
uh, as well as the government leaders in Singapore, uh, what is important is the quality. The quality of our food. Uh, the less uh, fertilizer, chemical, all that. I think uh, we are going towards that. That's why we have to use uh, uh, technological application in terms of production so that the level of uh, the level of uh, fertilizer and the rest of the mineral nutrients that you need are within the allowable limit. Then that, that, that's where data is important. So we use uh, our DNA and big data in terms of food production. And uh, against that background, uh, we have uh, decided that the Sarawak Trade uh, Office, their function is, number one, to create comprehensive an up-to-date database on the list of importers from Singapore and exporters from Sarawak. For that, they can meet the meeting point uh, between them. And then the, to undertake analysis on trade, which include information on market trends, market alert, trade statistics, trade leads, which could be obtained from the various sources, namely trade uh, online news portal and other publication. So when we are here, we can analyze the, the trend, and then we can adjust our economic uh, uh, economic direction based on the trend, including services sector tourism. Uh, I have uh, requested the minister to find uh, new ways how to connect uh, our flight between Singapore and uh, Sarawak. Because Singapore, we got a lot of uh, what we call uh, uh, charter flights. And also planes available in Singapore. So we can mount uh, direct flights uh, to Singapore, Singapore Kuching, even Europe to, uh, to uh, Kuching, because uh, Singapore has aviation hub. And then we are looking into that possibility. Uh, the other function of this trade office is, of course, uh, meeting point, <coughs> seminars, uh, and also uh, we, we call it interface re interaction between the Singapore business community and the Sarawak business uh, community, and uh, provide uh, advisory se services uh, uh, to both importers and exporters because uh, Singapore has its own laws. And then we have to comply with Singapore laws. But at the same time, uh, we got our own laws. And then the, the business community have to uh, comply with the two set of laws. Uh, then the, I think from then on, you can reach out to global market. Now the, the question of tourism, <coughs> as I said just now, is very important and strategic. And uh, this office, uh, Singapore Trade Office, will create a complete database on Sarawak tourism products and also activities, as you can see from our uh, what we call digital uh, promotion just now. And then to undertake analysis on tourism trend and tourist preference, uh, including expenditure pattern uh, in Singapore and globally. At the moment, we got a lot of Singaporeans coming over uh, to Sarawak. Basically, recreational activities, mm -hmm. fishing and other activity. But I think we have uh, uh, some uh, uh, products. It's more based on uh, adventure. Uh, including hiking, going to the, um, the hills, mountain, uh, as well as based on our culture. And that is our strength. And uh, I believe uh, through that, we can also uh, upgrade our services sector uh, in Sarawak, based on international trend. And uh, finally, uh, this office also uh, concentrate on investment opportunities. Uh, as I said, uh, at the moment, there are some uh, 
initiative made by the Singapore Institute of Higher Learning, the universities in Singapore. They are working now with Sarawak Biodiversity Council. So a lot of this biodiversity product uh, that can be promoted through research and development. Sarawak, uh, the government has formed what we call Sarawak Research and Development Council. And then uh, this Research Development Council can uh, work together with the universities here, including NUS, uh, to explore possibility of uh, research, joint research development. And they can have their lab in Sarawak. And then uh, with that sort of uh, research, I'm sure they can find new products out of our biodiversity uh, resources. And then, the, of course, uh, the other side is uh, we are upgrading our IT infrastructure. And Singapore is also uh, a hub for IT facilities such as uh, database and uh, big data. <coughs> and uh, we have a potential of our energy resources for us to uh, generate activities that is based on IT, uh, IT activities. At the moment, Sarawak is upgrading our international gateway. One is through Singapore, and the other one is uh, a cable that link right to Hong Kong. And then Hong Kong to the rest of the world. In other words, uh, we are also upgrading up to 5G uh, IT infrastructure, the G, that means real time. At the moment, the space of the speed is uh, three seconds only gap. And I understand uh, with this 5G, there's a possibility that you have this real time, and then uh, the next is autonomous. Uh, that's why our agriculture sector will be based on sensor and IoT. And this IoT will definitely you program the production cycle of your agriculture process, and you know when the products will be completed, and then we just export our um, product overseas. So, it, in other words, uh, this is the center. Of course, we work with uh, Maida, uh, Singapore, but our office just next to Maida. So, meaning, if there are investment potential initiative, we just go to Maida for the incentive. <laughs> just next door, I'm sure the mayor people, are here. high commissioner is here. So what we do, uh, just go next door, then they can approve immediately, <laughs> either by online. Uh, so uh, that will be uh, the synergy uh, between us and Maida. We could incentive for Maida on top of our own incentive. Uh, that incentive is ours. Uh, in other words, uh, the business community will get all the important strategic data for them to uh, site their, uh, again, to locate their activities in Sarawak. So roughly, uh, that is the background of this uh, uh, office. Our CEO is Mr. Chiu Changguan. Uh, yes. yeah, this is our CEO. And he has uh, experience in the uh, services sector. Uh, when I was Minister of Tourism, uh, he was roped in to have our uh, Sarawak Convention Center. And then he's very fluent in Mandarin, in English, and then the other dialects, <laughs> including uh, Iban. He's also not bad in Iban. And then, uh, of course, uh, our deputy is uh, Madam Putri Rosanna Soraya Binti Rosanna. Okay, uh, she is a Singaporean. Uh, she was also has experience in marketing. Uh, so she is helping uh, uh, you. And, uh, and uh, I think with this soft launching uh, uh, of uh, Sarawak Trade Office and Tourism, this is the first time we have a bold initiative to locate ourselves in a very strategic hub uh, in this area. Uh, with that, once again, thank you very much, uh, High Commissioner and all the rest. And also, thank you for the media for coming over uh, uh, to our soft launching. Okay.